Welcome to RNIB's introduction to using the Nook iPad app with Zoom. Zoom is the magnification facility that comes with the iPhone, the iPod Touch and the iPad. I'm going to demonstrate this on the iPad. The first thing I need to do is to turn Zoom on. I can turn Zoom on by tapping the home button three times and then choosing Zoom from the menu that appears. When magnification comes on, I can make it larger by double tapping with three fingers and after the second tap, dragging my fingers up the screen. And I can drag them down the screen to make it smaller so I can get the magnification to the level I like. I can also turn the magnification on and off very quickly simply by double tapping with three fingers. And this means that I can share my iPad with someone that doesn't need Zoom and turn it off for them when I need to. With Zoom turned on, I can now find the app that I want. I know it's on my second page of apps. And on the second page of apps, I can move around until I find it. Once I've got the app open, I can find the book that I'm interested in reading. And I've been reading Pride and Prejudice, and that's the one I want to carry on reading. Now, when the book opens, I may find that the font is too small for me to read comfortably. At the top right of the screen, I have some options. One of them is two letter A's next to each other. And on this, I can use this to change the size of the text. You may see the text changing behind the menu that I'm on. And I'm going to put it onto the largest size of font. If I move down that menu, there are some other things to do with the font and indeed the theme. So I could change it if I find the white background too glaring. I can change it to grey or even to a night theme. I can also change things like the line spacing and the margin if I wish. And on the More Options button, I can choose to have everything shown in a single column rather than two columns. Once I've made the changes I'm interested in, I come away from the menu and the last thing I'd want to do is turn zoom off. With the font set to the largest, and I can read that font now, I don't need zoom there, and I don't need to drag around with three fingers. So I can now scroll through my book in the usual way and read it. When I want to come out of the book or do something else that requires zoom, I just double tap with three fingers again, and zoom is back. And then I can press the library button to come out of my book or the home button to come out of the app completely. That's been a very quick introduction to using the Nook app on the iPad with the built-in zoom magnification. I hope you found it useful. This video featured the Nook iPad app version 3.4.1.14 running on an Apple iPad with iOS version 6.1.3 RNIB supporting blind and partially sighted people.